Hello everyone, I'm Michael Krulik, Video Product Evangelist for Avid, and I'm here to show you the basics with the new Avid Titler Plus. Now first I want to start off by mentioning the reason why we made this new titler is because the previous version of the Avid Title Tool only went up to HD. So now with the new Avid Titler Plus, you can stay in your high-res project and work 2K, 4K, UHD, 16K, whatever K you can do it. I'm just going to make a lower third here. Now I've gone in and I've added a clean track on top of my interviews right here. And I could go in and just use the add edit to chop up portions of my track here to choose where I want to drop in my title. Then at this point I could choose the Avid Titler Plus button right here or go to the pull down menu under tools or I could also map it to a key on my keyboard. So you'll see when I click here, it actually launches the Avid Titler Plus mini menu and places the title here in filler. And I could choose an in and out point. So when I mark I and O, it's choosing the region where I want to place the title. And here again, I hit the Avid Titler Plus button and it drops in the mini menu. So now I have quick access to my tools for choosing you know, my font styles. We actually can see the font style as we go down the pull down list right here. We have tools to bold, italic, or underline. We have our justification, turn on and off the background, and also all the tools for the face, shadow, edge, and frame of my title. Now the nice thing about this as well is since it's working in the record monitor, I'll actually be seeing that full screen out through an I.O. device if I have one connected. So just to make a simple lower third for Stuart Bass right here, I'm going to go in and hit the T key to start typing in my title, and I click in my record window, and we'll type Stuart Bass ACE. Perfect. Now, one thing you'll see also is if I double click on the different words, you'll see the little bounding box around the text. If I triple click, one, two, three, you'll see I select all of the text within the bounding box. So we do have a bounding box. These are two separate items. I can click the bounding box and I can move the bounding box to where I want it to be placed. And if I select the bounding box and hit left justify, it moves to the left, centered, and right. If I want to make a change to any of the text, double click does again one single string, or if I triple click, it does everything. So from here, I can go in and choose the color. Let's go ahead and make this maybe a little yellow. You'll see everything changes to yellow. Um, while that's highlighted, you'll also see here that if I'm going to change size, I can simply click and slide inside of the mini menu, or I can click and type in a value. So we'll do 80. I also can control kerning. I can skew. Again, click here and just move the skew to actually skew the font. Put that back to zero. Or little things like even rotation or even transparency. You'll also see that by default the shadow is on besides the face of the text. So if I don't want to drop shadow, I can turn that off or turn it on. But here I have control of the drop shadow as far as angle, distance. Let's say I want the drop shadow to be a little farther away. Maybe you want to soften the shadow. Again, you could type this by typing in a value, or you can click and drag when you get the little hand icon right here. So we have Stuart Bass ACE. I also want to do a, another title underneath of him, maybe uh, with some credits that he has. Click up here, and I'm going to type a series of unfortunate events. And uh, for this one, I want to make it a little smaller. So again, triple click. Go ahead and change the size. We'll drop that down a little bit. Okay, that's good. And then we'll take this and drop it underneath his name right here and move the position. Um, I'm really not fond of that yellow. I'm going to go ahead and just change everything to be maybe white. So let me explain at this point how the bounding box will affect the text inside of it. So right now, if I want to change the color of a series of unfortunate events, I can choose the bounding box to change the color of everything inside of that. Now if I just want a certain piece of my text string to be changed, let's go to maybe ACE, I double click, and now if I do something like change the color of that, you'll see that it changes just that. So that could be something that I could skew, I could change kerning, I could change size, 
individually. But here I actually just want to take all of my text and we'll change that all to be white. It also is taken into consideration when I go in to group. And it'll change the color of that as well. Okay. So behind his text, I do want to have just a bar. Again, this is a lower third. So we'll simply go in and draw a shape. One thing that we've added recently is you do have freeform shapes that you can draw. So we'll change the color, maybe make it blue. Maybe we'll draw another shape right here. I want the shape to be behind. That's awesome. I can click this. We'll turn off the drop shadow. Uh, maybe make it a little transparent. So we go to transparency. We'll drop that down. Then I want to change position. So I'm going to put that behind the text right here. So I've just gone in and I've created a very simple lower third. I could go in, grab all of this, and group them. So now everything can be moved as one single element if I want, or I can ungroup them, and then I have individual control over each element. All right, I want to save this. This is just like any effect inside of Media Composer. So I now take my effect, I'll drop that into a bin, we'll call it basic lower third. That is now saved, so I can go in and apply that to any other piece of video that I may want to add. So here we have, you know, Kate Haight. I want to take that basic lower third. We'll drop it right down here to a region which I have specified. And now if I want to change it, I simply go in, we'll select that track, go back into the title tool. And now all I have to do is triple click. Kate Haight, ACE, and then we'll give her credits right here. Sort of the jungle is one of them. Perfect. That now is saved. And I've gone in and I've created just some simple text that, by the way, this is all real time. Let's see as I move it through. And I will look using the script. I became an assistant editor. So there you go, some quick and simple ways to go in and create titles with the Avid Titler Plus. Thanks for joining and have a great day.